Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Great Day Live in Des Moines right now. And one of the things we tell you time and time again, uh, Great Day is about Des Moines. What is happening in Des Moines? That's what this show is all about. And something happening in the Des Moines area that is very cool, Jackie, involves a very famous animator. Uh, Ron Campbell is here. You know him. You know his work. If you're a Beatles fan, you probably watched his stuff every single week in cartoon form. Jason, what did you say the ratings were of the of the cartoon? It got a 67 rating. 67% uh, uh, of the people. Share, rather. Share. Yeah. So 67, 67 share. That now, is unreal. Now, Tom points out that there were three or four channels. Doesn't still, matter. It doesn't matter. 67 is a lot. In TV world, that's huge. Yeah. It's gigantic. Imagine what TV uh, producers would do for such a share oh, today. Right? Well, welcome to Des Moines. Well, thank Ron you. Campbell. It's a pleasure and to be here. Animate. How did you ever get started doing animation? Gosh, I think I went to the movies on a Saturday afternoon in 1946 or something and saw Tom and Jerry running around and, and when I discovered that they were drawings and I said, I can do a drawing and it can come alive? And I was obsessed from that moment on. Mm -hmm. That is great. Now we, yeah, we have to look at this uh, board next to you. These are just a sampling of all the great cartoons this you've done throughout your life. It, sure. It's absolutely amazing. We've mentioned the Beatles and I'm sure that's a big thing that you get recognized for all the time. But Cartoons from all the, from Hanna Barbera to Disney, Look at some all of across the board, iconic characters that you've had yeah. your hand a part of. Ten years of my life on Rugrats, another ten years of my life on the Smurfs. Can you imagine a grown man spending 10 years on the Smurf? Well, you look, you, you, you'd be like Papa Smurf. You, you have the Papa Smurf look to you. That's kind of cool, though. That's absolutely yeah. incredible. I, we, we see what, uh, is that uh, Pluto was there? The Jetsons. You, you know, uh, and, you know, is he dead? Yeah, George, Tarzan. George of the Jungle, Fred Flintstone. Uh, Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Scooby-Doo, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. It must be fun. It, it was fun. I never, I, I don't ever remember waking up in the morning and saying, oh gosh, I've got to go to work today. <laughs> yeah, That's no, a nice I, feeling to have. Now, you, mentioned, you mentioned drawings. You're not from around here, are you? No, no. I was um, born an early career in education in Australia, and I live in Arizona now. Mm -hmm. But I spent a lot of time in California, of course, where the, which was the home of animation in the world. And, that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us a bit about Yellow Submarine, and, and I'm 45 years old, so I don't I don't pretend to have remembered the cartoon series, but uh, uh, you know I've seen the cartoon. I think anybody who lives in this country and has, has grown up here has seen the cartoon. How did that all get started, and how did you get involved? Well, I think the Yellow Submarine, and to express it in just a few words, the Yellow Submarine exists because the Beatles did not want to make another movie. And so all they had to do was open their drawers and pull out some ratty old songs, which happened to be brilliant, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and uh, turn it into an animated cartoon, and they could go off to India and do things, you know, do their own thing, you know. Play their sitar. Get into their own arguments and their own fights and their own pleasures, you know. Did you ever have uh, the pleasure of meeting any of the, the Beatles? Uh, not at that time, no. I was in Australia when I uh, oh, did so the Oh, so you were still down there show. when you were yeah, doing that? Yeah, yeah, And I was in Hollywood when I did the... So how somewhere. did they get the? How did they get your images to where they needed to be? Would you have to put them on a boat, on a plane, or because <laughs> or, we didn't have internet? We, we, I don't even remember d having FedEx in those days either. We might have, but um, I don't remember. But I, uh, on the Yellow Submarine, for example, all I ever did on that was animate. So I did pencil drawings and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pencil drawings and shipped them to London, I where they inked and painted and shot and put it into the film. I say how many drawings did you have to do to create? Well, there are 24 frames okay. every second okay. um, oh. in 35 millimeter film. And um, it depends on how many characters there are in the, on the scene, in the scene at that moment, depends on how many drawings every second. But let's see, we did about 10 or 11 minutes, my colleague Dwayne Crowther and I, and um, it took us eight months. And we had two assistants in addition. And you did yeah. everything by hand? Everything by hand, yes, of course. I'm a dinosaur with a pencil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was no copy machine. No, computer. no computers. No computers yeah. Nothing. That was all no. done by hand. All done by hand, yes. And, and once you have a uh, yellow submarine on your resume, then I imagine finding other jobs was, was not too tough. And, and you're involved in, in so many series. What was next after Yellow Submarine? 
I have the Yellow Submarine. Gosh, it was so long ago. I've slept since then. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, I think um, I, I opened my own studio and um, uh, I did a show called The Big Blue Marble mm -hmm. uh, right. in the 70s. Uh, we won a Peabody and an Emmy for that. Uh, we did a lot of uh, subcontract work for Hanna Barbera. Um, I think Captain Caveman. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> Captain Caveman. Yeah. Oh, and while I was doing the Yellow Submarine, we were developing a show that I think you might have heard of called uh, Scooby Doo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, lots and lots of years, many many years, and uh, a lot of fun. And now I'm retired. I'm just an old guy trying not to die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still draw? Do you still yeah, of course, come up that's with what I draw. You know, this is what I do. And then I travel around the country. Every month we go somewhere, and here we are in Iowa. We're going to be selling some paintings to the. So that's what people have a chance oh, okay. to come out and see you later on today uh, around sure. noon. If we can show him, uh, everybody where he's going to be. Uh, we're going to be there for a long time. You have a long gig here today, too. Check this out. Uh, you, you got a long, long, long visitation here. Uh, Beatles Cartoon Pop Art Show featuring Ron Campbell, of course. Heartland Gallery West. It's over on West Town Parkway. And it's going to be going on uh, today for uh, quite a while from what, what noon to 6 yeah. or so today. So it's going to be, you know, a long jaunt there, but he'll be here for a little and, while. Yeah. And tomorrow, I think, and the day after. And the day yeah. after, all so it's all long. weekend long. So yeah. maybe a lot of folks are in for the 8035 festival, and you get to see all the, the music that's 8035. You say, well, what else can I do in town, music related? This guy right here. How about that? Check out some of the Love to great, see it. Come and have some the great fun. Well, yeah, we have 30, 40,000 people are going to be here for the music festival. Oh, wait. Maybe one or two of them might like to buy one of my paintings. And <laughs> <help> <laughs> my, That's the whole idea. electric bill, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have a favorite out of all of these that you've done? These a, favorite, characters? a favorite character. How do you choose between Scooby-Doo and Smurfette? How do you choose <laughs> between true. George of the Jungle and... Uh, 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 Fred Flintstone. It can't be done. Uh, I love them all. There wasn't know? one that you just love. It's no. like you have to draw this one. You're like, yes. No, 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 no. I loved them all. Did you Every ever have a moment since you, what you were inspired by, was Tom and Jerry, and then you got to work for Hanna Barbera? Was that the moment that you oh, were like, that was I've extraordinary made it. to me, you know, um, because as a boy, I was going to the library and pulling books down uh, about animation in America, you know, the, and they were like heroic people: Walt Disney, Bill Hanna, Joe Barbera, you know. And the next thing I know, I'm sitting in offices with them discussing things, you know. Well, awesome. your name is yeah. on that Absolutely list incredible. as well. So <laughs> Absolutely incredible. That is mm -hmm. some brilliant work. Mm -hmm. Now, in case people are curious, what do some of the pieces go for uh, price-wise? Oh, wise? I think something from $200 to um, oh. uh, 3000 4000 but most. But these are your creations, though. Oh sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. that's a heck of a, a piece to hang in your. It's a heck of a conversation piece. Yeah. And I bet you'll even home. sign it for him. Nobody ever wanted their money back. <laughs> I see that. How about that? <laughs> see, but this is brilliant. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you so much for being here. This Thank is uh, so cool. Again, uh, I got to show everybody where he's going to be again all weekend long, uh, starting a little later on today, going again till uh, six o'clock tonight, and then at ten till six. Like longer day tomorrow, and then noon to four on Sunday. Again, rockartshow.com for more information. The unbelievable Ron Campbell. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. It is 7.50. We'll be back. This is great. you got to draw us. We'll get here. <laughs>